Companies need to understand what they're selling. You know, FedEx is not selling shipping, they're selling business efficiency. And UPS is selling global logistics. Social networks are not selling communication, but they're selling human connection. So my question is, why is messaging important? And what process does, does one go through to evolve competitive positioning? And I'd like to start with CK on that. Um, a couple things, and, and good questions there is, okay, why is messaging important? Well, if you think about it, just in this room alone, we're going back and forth with a lot of messages. We walk into the streets, we go through our daily lives, we are assaulted by marketers and advertisers and, and press and just trying to get their message across. And most of it goes right over our head. And then you, you become a startup and you're creating this amazing product service offering and you're trying to articulate that and now you gotta do it, not in 10 seconds, maybe five seconds or four seconds, and it has to mean something. Because those products that are meaningful, they stand out, they stand apart. So when you're messaging and when you're looking at all that, you need to be able to go through a process where you look at any kind of competitors and you say, what are their messages? How are they saying they're unique? How are they creating their brand categories? And you need to make sure that you're standing apart from them. But you also need to look at what are the trends in your space? And how can you use those to tell your story? You know, um, how can you look at any kind of press placements? See if there's any type of commonality between what the press is covering in your specific sector. See what their hot buttons are. See what they're picking up on. And then use all that intelligence to get really creative, compelling, and finite messages. Because believe me, we're all competing for not just the same customers maybe, but their time, their attention. It's like any, any marketer at a startup can you know, make some insanely great list of influencers. You know, if you take three or four college interns and you get everybody in a room, throw some pencils into the ceiling, I'm sure any, any startup in this room can go out and make a list of like the 100 or 150 top influencers in your space. But if your positioning and messaging is not dead on, it doesn't matter how many people are gonna show up at your launch party or how many people you pitch. If, if, if the strategy is not behind the P&M, and you got all those people at a cocktail party for nothing. Yeah, exactly, and you're only gonna get really one shot at this. I mean, you hit somebody in the press one time, they're not gonna be as receptive when you come back the next time. You know, instead of thinking about this as an elevator pitch, because I don't know what kind of elevators you take, but my elevators are usually generally pretty slow. Um, think about, you know, if you were standing in an airport and you caught, you know, let's say Robert Scoble, for lack of a better example, and he's just getting ready to walk on a plane, they're starting to close the door, and you've got five seconds. You have to grab him, make an impression, get your message across so that he knows exactly who you are and what you do and why you're different. You know, that may sound unrealistic, but that's really the reality of it. I mean, it has to be something you can convey like that, off the top of your head with passion and with that same personality that we talked about earlier. But in doing that exercise where you look at, apart from yourself, and you're looking at competitors, you're looking at trends, all of that time is time well spent because you do what, what marketers do best. You take information and you turn that into intelligence. Because when you're not speaking to your customer, you're not developing the copy for your website, what you're doing is you're getting that time with a, a press influencer or online influential, and you know your space and your sector so well that you're not just having the story about your own company, but how that's thrusting an entire space forward. And you're connecting all those dots. And what does that do? That gets credibility for you. It begets longer term relationships. And it just puts you on a pedestal next to those who haven't done this. So. Okay.